4.20 in the morning, checking out of a hotel in Gloucester on our way to go meet with Shiflet and get on his daddy boat. We got a roll, bro. Here, another for you. These are for me. You can wear my glasses. Me and Yanni got a lot of things in common and obviously our vision is our one of them. Our height is uh, another. Yeah, the height. Our, our love for the fun uh, Gloucester air is definitely, we definitely have that in common. You know, it's freezing out here right now. It's probably like 20 something degrees. Uh, you know, we're both dressed up, bundled up, but it's only gonna be that much more cold on the water, so. Eight hours on a boat with Shiflet. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to go to the bathroom at. I don't know if I'm really looking forward to this after all. I have one more recommendation for the uh, for anybody who happens to pass through uh, this uh, this beautiful area. I highly recommend the uh, the Continental Breakfast at the uh, Gloucester uh, Inn Motel. Inn Motel. It's um, not exist. Doesn't exist. It's not real. <laughs> We're about five minutes away from where Shiflet lives at. We just got off the phone with him. He's excited to see us. We're excited to see him. Are you excited? Are you excited? Am I excited? Are you excited? Well, I'm excited. Oh, I'm ready to go out and give me some horses. Oh, they got horses the size of, size of, uh, size of horseshoes. <laughs> oh, they're so shiny. How you doing this morning? This one's even on the pedal. This one's even on the pedal. I cannot believe we're doing this for real. <laughs> We're at Shift. Let's let's go see the old shifter. It's way too early in the morning for this. Way too early. You know, man, I thought that this was it's one of those things where it's like you don't it's not it doesn't is it isn't, it isn't real until I see him. You know what I mean? Like it just feels like this is either a fantasy or a nightmare. Didn't he tell us yesterday that he had uh, a bucket of oysters on his front porch and he damn sure does. Oh my goodness gracious. Man. Good morning, Mr. Shiflet. Good morning, buddy. Huh? Hey, look, look, look at the small oysters I brought home yesterday. Oh yeah, God, those things are huge. <laughs> look oh at that one right there. God. You, you're right, looks like a, looks like a shoe. <laughs> big as a shoe. Oh, look, it's big as a shoe. <laughs> Do this every day? Every day. It's early, brother. Good morning. It is early. Right. Early in the morning. Good morning, good morning. Hello, how are you? Oh, we are just doing a good, good morning. morning. Grab some I, I, I figured I'd get this out for you. Johnny, look at it. How are you doing? Good what you got, buddy? You like stuff like that. Look at that. Doing things the guinea way. <laughs> <laughs> it almost looks like it. <laughs> oh, man, I like that. This is a Guerrero Albert telling you about. We used to share a bunk. I, I've heard all about it. He used to sleep on the top bunk. I slept on the bottom bunk. <laughs> Y'all just sleep. I know about that. Uh, that like, quite a story. Every day, every day, didn't like give us a great poop on. I heard about that too. <laughs> well, yeah, he's liable to come out of that kitchen with uh, with with anything. So, I remember he sold me a couple pounds of roast beef. <laughs> we had roast beef. We had uh, you know, you bring those biscuits every night. That's, uh, and that's, them honey buns. Hey, that's a picture of my brother that he got drunk. <laughs> That's what got great, Jenny. You told us about him last night. That's mm -hmm. horrible. Well, if you were ever going to take us somewhere to kill us, uh, I think this would be the location. We're here. Oh, that's, there's the boats right there. Oh, shit. You see them right there? Yeah. There's a little boat right there. A little boat action right there. She's a beauty. Tell you she's awesome. Yeah, Jenny Clutch, twenty-six thousand. Jesus. That's what I'm trying to tell you. There's a lot of money invested in this one. I believe it. Yeah. She nice. Beautiful boat. Yeah, I tell you. You can go to the bow. You can remind me the pictures of it now. Yeah. See it now. Oh yeah.
do some fishing. We're going to get the horses and get the hell on. <laughs> Just a little hijinks from the old crew there. So here we are at daybreak. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. And uh, we're running late because... Why are we running late, Captain? Jesus giving us a of thug this morning. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh. Clucker? Now, Captain, how can you tell what's good from bad? Is it just years of experience, or is there a yeah, simple? Three, three inches, three inches, you know? This is what we got so far, though. What we got? What we got, Joe? Not a lot. That's two, uh, two dredges so far. All right, so does this take you back? I mean, seeing you over there shucking them like uh, I, wouldn't, I don't know if I'd go so far as to call call you a pro, but you know, it, it amazes me the uh, the routine of this. Yeah, you got Shiflet sitting here operating, dropping the dredge, and then Jacob and James here just running through this stuff real quick. There's a lot of shells, and just trying to make sure that they got. You know, the proper three inches, which is, I guess, the legal limit that they can get. Look at that. They grow all kinds of ways. And that's a, that's a real oyster. Real oyster. Wow. Now, look, so when you... You ain't alive, listen. So if it sounds like it's hollow, that means he's dead? He did. All right, now, so look, when we're talking about the three inches, the uh, the, the, the natural... or the, the legal limit, what what exactly does that mean? That's the full law. That's the dead one, yeah. Yeah. Call it I don't know. It's just what they they're allowed to Is catch. It, so if it's bigger than that, you No, they can keep it as long as three inches. Oh, that's more. the minimum. Yeah, the minimum. Gotcha. But a lot of what they're pulling up is just empty shells. Because I guess, you know, what they were yeah. telling me earlier was. They handle a lot of shit. They handle a lot of stuff. Yeah, and what they were telling me earlier is so many people over so many years have been doing this type of work that you're going to pull up a lot of empty shells. But they already got almost one, one bushel. There you go, Bob. Getting close. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, I don't Like that, that, yeah. that means uh, it's a perfect oyster 
99% of the time, he's fat. Look at that shell. When you get one like I showed you a while ago that grows like that, uh -huh. I mean, I don't care to eat them. I, I'd rather eat a couple. The more fatter. So what does a bushel of oysters go for? We're getting 45. Hey, that's, that's pretty good, right? Could be better. What's the highest that it goes for? I've gotten 55. And what's the lowest? 25. Wow, wow when was that? To the top. How long ago was that when it was the 20 when is the mark was the 25? About 10 years ago, Jamie? About 10 years ago. I can't wait to see you guys pull up something like some fish or some crabs or Oh, you don't have crabs. Jacob over here was telling me earlier that they pulled up all sorts of crazy stuff. He told me they pulled up a demonic baby doll, a baby doll that had been lost in the water. It looked like just probably one of the scariest things they'd ever seen. Now, when you say it's demonic, I mean, was it was it literally possessed by a demon or just have kind of a nasty look to it? It just had a nasty look to it. Okay. Uh, can you imagine pulling up a baby doll in that dredge that looks like it's been there for 10 years? I mean, it's not going to look like a... It's not going to look like no Fisher Price type stuff. Here. No, it's, it's going to look, like, look like something out of a Stephen King novel. Asian wilt. Asian wilt? Wilt. Wilt. Well, what now? What is that? Is that an oyster? Well, it's a kind of a conch. Oh, okay. Yeah, a conch. Yeah, they, they, uh, they eat uh, every clam they get up with. Mm -hmm. They're really uh, vicious. So a lot of people don't know it, but when you go to the food line or something other by Canada, Campbell's Clam Child, you get conch. You don't get clams, you get conch. Who taught you everything you know? My father. About the about the dad, about the business. My father. Your father. Yeah. Your daddy. But he but my, but he didn't teach me. How I learned them on, you know. Well, I just remember, you know, back when we used to, you know, talk almost every day. Well, you sure did love your daddy, boy. I, we always heard about daddy. He's all I got left, you know. My mama got killed on George P. Coleman Bridge, so he's all I got left. What uh? What happened on the bridge? Uh, a, young, a young black lady, 18 years old, ran head on collision with my mom and my dad. Wow. My dad got a crushed pelvis out of it. And my mama died. My sister was in the, in the car. She had a brain concussion, didn't know nobody. She beat up, uh, she beat up three state troopers. That night? Yeah, yeah, because she didn't know what she was doing. And when I got to the hospital, okay. 
my uh, the, the, the state troopers looked at me and he says, "What do you? What, what, what do you? Your dad feed you your, 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 the children?" He says, "He says your sister strong as an ox." <laughs> It was funny. It really was funny. BMRC catch you for that crab? Got a hundred dollar bill fine. What? Every crab on the boat that's uh, out of season, I heard they charge a hundred dollar fine for each one. Well, what, I mean, what? So that's a hundred dollar fine? That's why we throw the crabs over. If you take them, if you take it home. Yeah, you're right, right. You're looking to eat. To eat them. Well, he's a good looking son of a. Bitch, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I don't know if you want to stick it near your nose near this suck. He gonna bite you. She gonna bite you. You gonna play chicken with the crab? Yeah. She ain't gonna try to intentionally bite you because it's so cold. But she's trying to take her sideways. You gotta get it in there. She'll bite you. Once you get that death grip, she's gonna hold on. Well, I, that ain't a real finger in there. <laughs> she's too cold. You going back in the? Yeah. You going back in the water? Right. Now what's the Jimmy? Is that a fish? That's a male. A male, a male crab. crab. Did you just say what's a Jimmy? Is that a fish? God, it's so cold. I need I need a fireball just to keep me warm. Hey Yanni, give me a fireball out of there. He said he got a whole pound in there. Hey, we got who's I am the captain now. Is that the captain? <laughs> Alright, so where to next? I don't know. Uh, I'm kinda, it's real foggy out here. I mean the visual is really bad, but I know that you're used to this weather. I mean, what's our next move? Dude? Uh, speak up, I can't. What? Okay. I'm gonna uh, laugh when that thing pinches your ear. All right, look, we gotta throw that fish, uh, that crab back in the water, man. That's a, uh, that's a fine. Hundred, hundred dollar fine. Get him out the boat. A good three year old oyster, you know, just at three inches. Three and a half. Take that one. That is so big, and he curls that end right there. He's been, he's been in playing in the mud like that. We, he's been down there six years. Now we just got him. You was on the run for six years, Oyster. Yeah. You was on the run for six years, but we got you now. Yeah. There you go. Woo -wee -wee. Show me, Mama. Show me no cookies in that cookie jar. Yeah, you don't need a new See that? How it's like a sh uh, like a half circle. Right. That's the female. You can tell by the claws. Now the orange, female. Somebody told me, says, uh, it's a young boy one day. He said, I got to tell the male from the female. I said, how do you do it? He said, the female has got it's like the capital of the state. That's what it looks like, the capital. He said, the male has got one thing to stick about. That's the monument. <laughs> <laughs> See, if you look on the bottom, it's exactly what I told you. Yeah, I, it, it did look like that when, it, when he showed me that female. It looked like the capital. Or just look at the claws. Or just look at the claws. The claws gotta be orange. Claw, claws on the female are red. And claws on the male are blue. So this is a male crab. This is a Jimmy. We can tell because he's got the blue on his claws. He's, he doesn't have the orange on his claws. 
And they said he's got the monument. That's the monument. I see that? Oh, I see. Shiflet, what's that right there? A monument. <laughs> oh, he bit me. He definitely bit me. Did he really? He tried to. He closed that claw. Oh, no, yeah, he can close his claw. Well, yeah, what that's. What you try to bite me like that for? I that kind of that kind of what they do for real. I mean that that what they be doing. They they be they be they be biting. They be biting. We good? No more issues? All right, look, you're going back in the water. Johnny, you ever had to crash that thing? Steve, let me ask you a question. What do you remember about Pete? Oh dear Jesus! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God! That's a story by itself. What's wrong with old Peaches, Simply? I don't think she's rapper. He, he, she, right, rapper. It's like. appreciate you having us out, man. Yeah, I enjoyed y'all. Had me some laughs and got to, you know, get back with people that I did care for. I really did care for both of you. Well, I appreciate it, brother. Yeah. Well, I didn't, I didn't really care for you much. But, but I mean, I you know, every time fact. you've been over, I thought of you very well. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I just got to be honest with you, Shift with. I thought of you as a really annoying guy in prison. You probably thought the same thing about me. That antenna. <laughs> we definitely had some wars over the TV in prison. Shh. Trying to fight for reception. But even though I considered you somebody annoying, I always considered you somebody genuine, sincere, and an overall good person. Thank you. Appreciate that. And I mean, your true humanity comes out actually going out with you on this boat today and seeing you in real life. Natural. Yeah, this is you in action. This is this is your natural form out here on the water. This is what you talked about so much while in prison. So many people would get annoyed hearing you talk about this, but they didn't understand this is This all, is my life. This is your life. This is this is what you love and this is what allows you to live your life. So we'll put food on the table. Yeah. You know we haven't talked much about your daddy at all. And um I know he's somebody near and dear to you. Oh, yeah. And the crazy thing that we learned coming out here with you today is this is your daddy's boat. Yeah. And you're basically paying to use this boat, paying to own this boat. You've paid a lot of money, put a lot of money into this boat. Yeah. I paid my dad 40000 and I got fifteen into it myself. You know, getting things new. The new, motor. New flooring. The new timbers underneath. Uh, I one more thing to do is put a new top on the pile house. Dang, but four years old. That's rotten. We're up here on the corner here. Yeah. You mean, know, it's just owning the boat. You just, you know, now like a, a woman, you got to take care of it. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I mean, because just like a woman, you don't take care of her. Mm -hmm. She gonna kill you. Yeah, or she's gone. <laughs> or she's gone. Mm -hmm. And you might be gone with her. Um, <laughs> you know, one thing that's really interesting that I want to bring up here is you know while in prison you talked a lot about your daddy oh yeah but again this was something that people made fun of you for doing this was something that even i made fun of you for, for doing at time to time but it's coming out here with you today working with you watching you jacob and james out there working father and son out there working right. as your crew this only shows me more that in this line of work, in this life that you live, this lifestyle as a waterman, 
how strong of a Bond family is. Family is. It really is. Because see, see what I've done today, my dad would have done. And I would have ran the drugs on the other side. You know, that's how we always worked. It. You know, when you think about Waterman, what I think about Waterman now is family. Because this is something that for generations in your family, I'm sure, has been a part of. Yeah. The Shiflet. The Shiflet name. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to carry the legacy. You guys work hard, and you guys deal with weather conditions <clears throat> that most people wouldn't even work in. But I can't thank you enough, Shiflet, for allowing us to come out here with you today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, your crew, Legend James and Jacob, are some really solid guys. They're they are really. You see, his dad gets into work too. You see how he gets into work? When he's working, he ain't saying a word. He's just working. He's working. And Jacob talks. You know, he talked with us, but he works hard. <coughs> yeah. You got you some good guys on your on your on your on your boat. Shit. I think so too. That's why I didn't hire the other guy that been a friend of mine for thirty five years. This is just an amazing operation. Watching how you guys come out here in in whatever the weather conditions are. Today, visibility is is low, and you guys and, might be an eight of a mile. And, and Jacob was telling me earlier, this isn't even the worst that you guys come in. Oh come hell, out. no! You go out in the snow. The other day, I had uh, icicles on my hat that long. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I'm sure I'm the last person you expected to see coming out on that fishing boat with you. <laughs> you know, I'm sure when we were sitting in prison, and I'm sure I was driving you just as crazy as you were driving me. Fruit is a fruitcake. <laughs> mm. I can only imagine you saying to yourself, I swear I hope I never see Guerrero again. No, I didn't say that. I kind of know the coincidence we was in. It was just, you know, everybody just had to bear it and hold their head down, you know what I mean? Thank the Lord that everything's better now. Yeah, everything's better now. We're, we're out in society, and I got my life back when I want. <clears throat> and I'm letting nobody take it away from me again. Chifley, I'm super proud of you, man. I, I really am. And to come out here and spend the day with you, for you to be kind enough, your crew to be kind enough to embrace us and allow us to come out here with you guys and see what you do, what you've spent your entire life doing, mm -hmm. something that your entire family's done, I've got a whole new respect for this line of work and this lifestyle. And again, I just want to thank you for allowing us to come out here and spend the day with you, brother. You're certainly welcome, my friend. Hey, it's good to see you again, Shiflet. Thank you so much. All right. And this will not be the last time. All right. You're welcome anytime. Thank you, brother.